is Brittany, and today we're going to dive in to the wonderful world of trash. Before we begin our story today, Where Does the Garbage Go? by Paul Showers, illustrated by Randy Tuning, and read today by myself, Miss Brittany. Before we begin with our story today, though, I want to talk to you about a couple questions around garbage. My first is, what does garbage look like? That's a good thought. So garbage can look different from person to person, but there's some things we might agree on, like food waste, food that we don't want anymore, we tend to throw away. And sometimes we can use our five senses to determine if something is garbage, like using our sight, if something looks bad, our sense of smell, if something smells bad, hearing, taste, if something tastes funny, and our touch. So we can use those five senses sometimes to help us figure out what garbage is. But sometimes we put things in the garbage that do not belong in the garbage. And we'll talk more about that in today's story. My second question is, how do you know if something is garbage? So what do you do to determine whether something needs to be thrown away or not? Take a moment and if someone's around you, you can share your thought with them or you can say it out loud. How do you know if something is garbage? What do you do? Well, sometimes I like to use my five senses to tell whether or not something is garbage. And like I said in our first question, sometimes people determine garbage differently. So what is trash to some people might be salvageable or used again to other people. Once you throw away your garbage, where do you put it? Yeah, so different places, even in our communities, outside our homes and our schools, restaurants and businesses, we designate special places for trash to go, often in the trash can. And what happens once we throw that garbage in the trash can? What happens after that? Where does it go? That's a good thought. So today we're going to find more about where our garbage goes through today's story. And my last question is, what do you wonder about garbage? So do you have a curious question that you always wanted to know about garbage? Well, your curious question might be answered today through today's story, where does the garbage go? I know I wonder how much trash each person accumulates or makes. So how much trash do I make every day? How much do I throw away? That's a question I wonder, and maybe it will be answered through today's story, where does the garbage go? So I want you to listen while I'm reading the story for different places the garbage will go. And I'll ask you about that after our story today and our after story questions. Go by Paul Showers, illustrated by Randy Tuning, and read today by Brittany Mitchell. In our school, we are learning about garbage. Last week, our teacher told us about the way things used to be. Garbage, where does it come from? Where does it go? Garbage comes from leftovers. Garbage comes from my baby brother. Do we have to study this before lunch? She said there was a time when people who wanted to get rid of something just threw it into the garbage can. They threw in garbage like orange peels, chicken bones, the food they didn't eat. They threw in trash too. Empty bottles, tin cans, cardboard boxes, old newspapers. I would have eaten that. 
When you put garbage and trash together, you call it waste. Once a week, the waste was collected in trucks and taken out to the dump. In the dump, there were piles of garbage everywhere and all kinds of trash. Broken old tires, broken bottles, tin cans, old newspapers, broken chairs and sofas. In summer, the garbage rotted and made a terrible stink. Rats came to eat it. Millions of flies buzzed around. The dump was a great big mess. Today, some towns still have dumps where they leave their garbage and trash. At one time, New York City used the ocean for its dump. It loaded its waste on flat boats called barges. Tugboats pulled the barges out to sea and the waste was dumped overboard. Most of the trash sank, but some of it floated. Ugh. Often it floated right back to the beaches where people were swimming. Ugh. Eek. New York City doesn't throw its waste in the ocean anymore. It has a special kind of dump called a landfill. Other cities have landfills too. Our town has one and our class went out and looked at it. A landfill is a busy place. Not a great place for a picnic. Phew, it smells. Trucks bring loads of waste from the city and dump it in big piles. Bulldozers with scrapers spread out the waste. Compactors with spikes on their wheels move back and forth over it. The waste is all mashed and piled. After that, trucks bring loads of soil. The bulldozers and compactors spread the soil over the waste. The soil covers up everything. It keeps out the rats and flies. Then the landfill is ready for more waste. Then comes more soil to cover it up. Then more waste and more soil, layer after layer. A landfill keeps piling up. It gets to be a little mountain. The layers of a landfill. Daily waste. Daily covering of soil. Dirt cap for layer one. Dirt cap for layer two. When the last layer of soil is spread on top of a landfill, grass and trees are planted on it. The landfill becomes a park or a playground. Then the city has to start a new landfill. Waste never stops piling up. What's in our landfill? 20% other, 13% food and yard waste, 1% glass, 6% metal, 10% plastic, and 50% paper. Some cities try to get rid of their waste by burning it. They build big furnaces called incinerators and burn garbage and trash in them. The heat is used to warm stores and offices. It's also used to make electricity. How an incinerator works. Trucks bring garbage. Garbage is fed to a furnace. Furnace burns garbage in about 30 minutes. Gases from the burning garbage must be carefully cleaned and filtered, and gla clean gases are released. But incinerators don't really get rid of everything. They simply turn the waste into ashes, and the ashes have to go to a landfill. Sometimes those ashes are toxic or harmful. And sometimes the smoke from the incinerator pollutes the air with harmful gases. Today, cities have a, ha, are having a hard time finding places for new landfills. Waste keeps piling up. People keep throwing things away. They throw away too many things. Some of the things they throw away could be used over again. Each person in the U.S creates about four pounds of trash every day. That's a lot. Many cities are now trying something that is new for them. It is called recycling. Recycling means making trash into something new instead of throwing it away. Almost half the trash we throw away can be recycled. 
Look for this symbol on glass, metal, and plastic containers that can be recycled. Our city is recycling. We still put garbage in the garbage can, orange peels, chicken bones, the food we don't eat, but we keep empty bottles in a separate box, aluminum cans and foiler cups separate too. When we put the cans and bottles at the curb, we pile old newspapers besides them. We flatten our cardboard boxes and pile them next to the newspapers. When the garbage truck comes, it picks up only the garbage and takes it out to the landfill. Other trucks come for the bottles and cans and newspapers. Those things don't go to the landfill anymore. Our city sells them to factories and mills for recycling. Paper mills chop up old newspapers and turn them into new paper. Paper is shredded into pulp, pulp is washed and bleached, water is drained from pulp, and paper is dried and rolled. Aluminum factories take aluminum cans and foils and melt them to make new cans and rolls of foil. Cans are chopped. Decoder takes off paint from metal scraps with hot air. Scraps are melted in furnace and melted aluminum is poured into molds. Glass bottles are ground up and melted to make new glass bottles and jars. Some bottles are sterilized and reused. Other glass bottles are crushed. Glass is melted in a furnace. Globs of molten glass are poured into molds. Blown in air cools the glass. Even plastic can be recycled. Plastic factories chop it up and turn it into things like flower pots and park benches. Plastic is chopped into bits, bits are washed and dried, and plastic is melted and poured into a mold. What we, what are we doing to help the environment? We're separating our trash and recycling. We put our food scraps in the compost heap, Tiffany. I made a toy for my dog out of old socks, Lisa. My family gives all our old clothes to the thrift store, Daryl. I carry a lunchbox instead of a bag I'd throw away, John. My mom started a recycling program for paper at work. Let's start one here, Chris. We carry string bags to the store so we don't need to take the plastic ones we'd only throw away, Billy and Sherry. Our teacher says recycling is a good start. But we must do more. We must must stop making so much waste. We must stop throwing so many things away. We need to find ways to use things over again. That's what we have done at home. We used to bring our groceries home in paper and plastic bags. When we empty the bags, we throw them in the garbage can. When we did that, we were just making more waste for to pile up in the landfill. We have stopped doing that. Now we use string bags. They hang on the kitchen doorknob. When we go to the supermarket, we take our string bags to put our groceries in them. Need a bag, kids? No thanks, we have our own. We never throw away our string bags. They are strong and hold lots of groceries. We use them over and over again. Now for our after story questions for today's story, where does the garbage go? My first question is, what is garbage? Did we learn something new about garbage today? Cool. Remember, garbage is something that cannot be used again or turned into something new. So oftentimes our garbage might be food that we don't want anymore or things that we can't use again that can't be turned into something new. My second question is, where does this garbage go? Do you remember from the story? Well, the story mentioned a couple of different places. 
The first place is a landfill, which remember is a big hole in the ground that trucks take our garbage from the curbside to this landfill and it gets buried under dirt and compacted. Another mentioned in the story about where garbage can go is some cities have incinerators, which an incinerator will burn the trash, but that can be problematic, remember in the story I mentioned, because that turns the trash into ashes, which pollutes our air, which we need to breathe. And then another mention in the story is one thing that you can do to help solve our trash problem is recycling. So some materials that we put on our trash actually can be recycled and turned into something new without having to use up our natural resources again to make those new products. So they go to a material recovery facility where those things like, and say it with me, what we can recycle, paper, plastic, glass, metal, and cardboard. So those five things go to this facility where they're made into new products. My next question is, what do you notice about trash in your own community? Do you notice anything about the trash that people throw away? Yeah, so many people throw different things away and sometimes they throw things the same as you, like food waste that they don't want anymore. I notice in my community, the trash that my neighbors throw away is sometimes they throw away play equipment that their kids don't want anymore or old tires. But through today's story, we know that those things can actually be reused again. Sometimes they might not be, so they might need to be taken to the landfill. But a lot of times those tires that they throw away could be used to make a tire swing or even a planter in your garden where you can plant flowers or the play equipment. Sometimes people might pick that trash up and take it to their house and clean it up so that their kids can play on that play equipment again. So that's one thing I notice about trash in my community. So you might notice same, or you might notice different things, but I want you to keep an eye out for that. My next question is, do you see any problems with the trash in your community? What do you notice? Do you think there's things that you can do to solve that problem? So some things we might know how to solve and some things might take more time, maybe even participation from your family, friends, or neighbors to do. But some things that I notice in my community is a lot of times people driving will like to throw things out their window and that becomes a problem because then it pollutes the land. And then for people that live close to the water, those things are blown by the wind into the water, then it pollutes the water. So things that I can do to help solve that problem is if I see some random paper that has blown away or a plastic bottle, I pick it up, I clean it up, and then I put it in my recycling bin if it can be recycled, or I put it in the trash if it needs to go into the trash. My last question is, do you think there are things that we can do better to help solve problems in our community? Yeah, so that's a really good thought. There's always room for improvement, things that we can do to help solve. And like I said, sometimes that may take some participation from people around you or close to you. And sometimes you can do things on your own. So a big thing we talked about in today's story is recycling. So really taking the time out 
to you know sort things that can go in the trash or in the recycling bin or even telling other people because sometimes people don't know i know i help my family start recycling in their home and they reduce so much of their waste just from recycling they used to take out two trash bags a week of trash but once they started recycling a lot of stuff that they were throwing away could be recycled again and made into something new or take it to that recovery facility and through a process turned into a new product without using those natural resources but once they started recycling they reduced their trash from two bags of trash into a half bag of trash so they don't need to take out their trash as often and those things that can be recycled are helping to save our natural resources from being used up like trees being cut down to make new cardboard or paper or our minerals to be used to make metal so there's so many different ways that we can help practice and that's just one way so i want you to think about ways that you can help reduce your trash or help tell other people how to reduce their trash and to recycle remember those five things again paper cardboard plastic glass and metal Thanks for joining me in our after story questions and stay tuned for our activity today, which will practice sorting through our trash and things that can be recycled. All right, friends, now for our activity today, we're going to test your skills on sorting through our trash to determine whether things belong in the trash or in the recycling bin. So I have some items in the middle that we're going to sort through and I'm going to hold each item up and I want you to vote with your body how we should handle this item. Should we put it in the trash or does it go in the recycling bin? So if I hold up an item that belongs in the trash, I want you to touch your toes, try to go down as far as you can and touch your toes. If an item belongs in the recycling bin, then I want you to run in place and do the recycling motion. Got it? So we'll go through each item and we'll determine whether it's trash or recycling. So let's go over our first item. So our first item, let's do this piece of glass. So I have a piece of glass. Do you think this piece of glass should be recycled or does it belong in the trash? I'll give you five seconds to vote. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. What was our vote? If you said that glass can be recycled, then you are right. Remember, glass is one thing that we can recycle. Remember our five things that we can recycle. So glass can be recycled to turn into new glass. All right, our next item is some candy wrappers. Candy wrappers. Hmm, let's think. Should candy wrappers be recycled? or should they go in the trash what do you think i'll give you five seconds five four three two one all right what do we think candy wrappers recycled or trash well if you said trash you're right candy wrappers go in the trash because Candy wrappers are not made of one of those five materials that we talked about. Metal, glass, paper, cardboard, or plastic. They're made out of a material that cannot be used again. So we have to throw candy wrappers in the trash. All right. Our next item is a can. So listen to our can. What do we think our can 
is made of. Do we think our can should be thrown in the trash or in the recycling bin? Five minutes the, or five seconds to vote. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. If you said that the can should be recycled, then you're right. Remember, can is metal. So sometimes we could take the cans back in Michigan. We can return them for a deposit. So we can get money back from returning our cans. But some metal and some cans cannot be taken back for a deposit. But they can be recycled to ter be turned into new cans or new metal products. All right. Our next item is aluminum foil. And I got to show you this aluminum foil. It's a little dirty. So this aluminum foil was used in cooking. So I made some bacon on this aluminum foil. So do you think the aluminum foil should go in the trash or do you think it can be recycled? Vote in five, four, three, two, one. What do we think? My aluminum foil with the bacon grease should it go in the trash or recycled? Well, if you said trash, you're right. So if the aluminum foil was clean and it didn't have all the yuck or the bacon grease on it, then we could recycle it. But since the aluminum foil is dirty and it has all this gunk on it and fat, we want to throw it away because we don't want to put dirty things into our recycling bin. Everything that we recycle should be clean. If it's not clean, it can contaminate the whole recycling batch and they would have to throw all those things that you worked hard to recycle and your neighbors worked hard to recycle away. They wouldn't be able to turn it into something new if it was dirty and contaminated. So remember, even if things seem like they can be recycled, if they're dirty and cannot be clean, you should throw them away. All right. My next item is newspaper. So do we think newspaper should be recycled or should we put it in the trash? Vote in five, four, three, two, one. All right, our vote for newspaper. If you said it can be recycled, you're right. Remember, newspaper is paper that can be recycled and it's clean so we can recycle this to be made into new paper all right my next item is kind of tricky so this item is a plastic bag hmm do we think this can be recycled or should we put it in the trash vote in five four three two one. All right, what if we think about the plastic bag? Well, if you said trash, you're right. Now I gave you a hint, I said that this one was a tricky one and it's tricky because even though this is plastic, it cannot be recycled again because when it's taken to that recycling facility we talked about earlier, it can get caught up in the factory wheels and cause the machine to break. So plastic bags can be reused again. They can be used for many different projects or things like maybe to empty the kitty litter box or to line your trash can or to hold your lunch. But after it's done, you must throw them away so they don't get caught up in the recycling machine and break the machine. So another alternative, instead of getting plastic bags when you go to the store, try to get cloth bags or paper bags because you can reuse them again 
and reduce the waste from the plastic bags and the landfill. All right, my next item is eggshells and strawberries. Eggshells and strawberries. Do you think they can be recycled or should we throw them away? Five, four, three, two, one. If you said trash, throw away, you're right. So when we're done with food waste, often we should throw those away or you can compost, which if you follow our videos, I'll be doing an activity around composting. So we'll find more about how to save some of our food waste that can be composted. But since it can't be turned into something new, so we can't make new eggshell or eggshells or eggs, and we can't make new strawberries from these. So since it cannot be turned into something new, it's not one of the items that we recycle, we gotta throw it away. Good job. All right, my next item is a paper towel but I blew my nose in this paper towel. What should I do with it? Should I recycle my snot nose paper towel or should I throw it away? Vote in five, four, three, two, one. Well, if you said throw away, Good job. Remember, we don't want dirty things in our recycling bin. We could contaminate the recycling bin. So if it's dirty, even if it's a paper towel, we need to throw it away. Now, if it was a clean paper towel that nobody used, we could be able to recycle that. But since we used it and it's dirty, we want to throw it away. All right, a couple more items here. My next item is a plastic container for my laundry. This is my favorite softener. And I noticed that the bottom of this container has a triangle with a number two inside of it. Hmm. Should I recycle this plastic container or throw it away? What do we think? Five, four, three, two, one. All right. If you saw this plastic bottle can be recycled, you're right. Our plastic bottle, I gave you a little hint. If you notice on plastic that can be recycled, there's always going to be a little triangle with a number inside. So different numbered plastics are different kinds of plastic. So we, We'll separate them if we go to a recycling center. You might notice that number two bottles, like my fabric softener here, and milk jugs will go in one area. And then things like our yogurt bottle, our yogurt cups have a different number at the bottom. So those will go to a different area and they're taken to separate facilities and turned into different plastic products. So always look out for our triangle with the number to tell us if we can recycle this plastic. All right, my last item today is a cardboard. Cardboard. Can cardboard be recycled or should we throw it away? Vote with your body in five, four, Three, two, one. All right, what do we think about cardboard? Well, if you said it can be recycled, you got it, good job. So our cardboard can be recycled so that we don't have to cut down more trees to make our new cardboard. So a cardboard, as long as it's clean, can be recycled. So real quick, before we end today, it's important that we share with other people those five items that can be recycled. Remember, paper, cardboard, plastic, metal, and glass. 
those five things can be recycled and we need to tell other people about those things that can be recycled so they don't fill up our trash and fill up our landfills and we don't have to use up our natural resources. So think of other things that you could do to help from fill it, keep filling up our landfill. Ways that we can help recycle or reuse things. And it's important that we share the, that information with our families, our friends, and our community to make our community a healthy, clean, and safe place to live. Thanks for joining me today, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.